and good evening. This is Natalie with Discover Real Estate. Sorry for the wobble. I'm in my hammock again and I'm going to do another video on health insurance and what to do if you get sick here. Um, first option is something right in town, Dr. Dennis Solis. He's a very good doctor. He's um, bilingual. It's pretty good English. Not perfect English, but pretty good English. So he has an office across from the church park in the pharmacy there and we also have a laboratory in town so if like i had um a parasite infection he told me what tests to get at the lab i went and got them he diagnosed me with medicine i uh, wasn't getting better and uh, actually passed out one day and so then he, we did more blood tests and discovered i had h pylori bacteria so we he'll treat you you get things done it's a simple it's here in town it's not bad we also have a hospital here in town that is a public hospital, so it's free to locals and foreigners. I fell downstairs at Pelican Eyes in February of 2020. I thought I broke my ankle. I got a free x-ray. Wasn't broken, thank God. Just um, pretty messed up for a little bit. But um, that's also an option for clients. At the hospital here in, in San Juan, you can get your gallbladder removed or your appendix out. They'll take x-rays, they'll set a cast if you broke your arm or your leg, but it's not the greatest hospital. So if you have something major, uh, they're great for minor things, but something major, you wanna go to Managua. In Managua, we've got a couple of really great hospitals. First, you have the Vivian Pellis Hospital. That is, they cater to the wealthy Nicaraguans and foreigners. There you can get a discount plan. You pay money, a substantial amount of money for a discount. Um, I used to belong there. I didn't use the services nearly enough to begin to pay for the discount that I was getting considering what I was paying to get the discount. So I canceled that, pro that uh, plan. And now I belong to the military hospital. The military hospital is, is actually a teaching hospital and they have a diamond accreditation with Canada. At the military hospital, we pay $90 a month. And because we put it in Ricardo's name, it covers me, him, and his three kids. If it was just in my name, it would only cover me and Ricardo. So we put it in Ricardo's name so it covers all of us. And with that $90 a month, basically everything is covered. I had my gallbladder out at the end of February in 2020. Um, everything was covered. No extra cost for the surgery, the anesthesia, the doctor, nothing. They even gave me pain medicine for free. Um, and before I had the gallbladder out, for the whole year prior to that, I was trying to treat my gallstones naturally by eating a lot of radishes and kale and all that fun stuff. Um, they shrank a little bit, but not much. I was still suffering with really bad indigestion. So finally I decided to get them out. But every four months I would go back to the hospital and get more blood tests and an ultrasound to check on the size of the gallstones. That was all covered, 100%. So I paid the $90 a month and that was it. Um, this year, I, since uh, COVID hit, I haven't been back to the hospital. I need to get my annual checkup. Uh, I usually do that every November around my birthday. I didn't go last year because of COVID, but hopefully this year I will schedule it and get my annual checkup at the hospital. So those are your healthcare options when you're here in Nicaragua. Uh, so if you have an emergency, you can go to the local hospital here in town. They have ambulance service that will take you to Managua. If you have something that can't be handled here, you can get an ambulance ride to Managua. So that gives you some options. You're safe, you're protected, no big problems. I love my life. Come join me.